This is a tutorial on runtime retargeting for Unreal Engine 5. It is a vastly superior method. You only need one animation blueprint and one set of animation assets. So I've got a character here who I'd like to use an animation blueprint that has been set up for the Unreal Engine mannequin. So what I'm going to do is first I need an IK rig. And the easiest way to get an IK rig is to copy it from something that's similar. It is a long and tedious process to set up manually. So I'm just going to copy it here. Now if I open it up, I can't change to my mesh, but whether it's intentional or not, if I go Asset Actions, Bulk Edit via Property Matrix, I can change the imported skeleton to my character. And if I open this, now it's got this character. So you're going to want to assign the bones if your skeleton is different from the mannequins. But this character is the same. So next I need a retargeter, IK retargeter. So we're going to copy that as well. And then we just assign the IK rig we made as a target. So now if I play an animation, it doesn't look quite right. So, you can see his arms are up a lot further, and they're straight, and his legs are wider and turned outward. So, we click Edit Pose, and we come in here and we grab a joint, and we can just turn it. Now, if you look at an animation, you'll see that the change we made is actually reflected in the animation. So, you want to match the poses as similar as possible. You can use a target actor offset here to make it a bit easier and the scale to make them more similar. And it's a, it's a long process, so I'm going to skip. Okay, so if I go to edit pose, you can see it's a lot more similar. And if I play an animation, you can see it's a lot closer. It's not 100% accurate and hopefully in the future Epic will add some way to import a pose so it can be completely accurate, but for now it's good enough. So if I come to, uh, if I make an animation blueprint, we're just going to open that up, drag off the result and get a retarget pose from mesh. We're going to assign our IK retargeter here, the one we just made. Compile and save that. And now for, for a basic setup, I'm just going to make an example character. It's likely you already have a character that you can just use. So for the mesh, we're going to assign whichever character has our animation blueprint. So that's a mannequin. And assign the animation blueprint as well. I'm just going to uh, set up, set them up a little. So now under the mesh, we want to add another skeletal mesh. We're going to assign our character here and assign the animation blueprint that we just made. And you'll notice he's gone into idle and he's been retargeted in real time to the mannequin. So now we don't need the mannequin. We can um, disable his collision. And the important one here is we disable his visibility, but if we compile, he stops he stops updating. So we need to change visibility based NM tick option to always tick and refresh bones. So now his animation is updating once again. Uh, because this animation system relies on a custom character class, we're not going to see much if we uh, chuck him into the game, but we can still have a quick look. Ah, he's got no camera. So there he is, he's just idling. Now I'm just going to um, skip ahead. I'm going to show you what it looks like if I use the actual um, actual character class and so forth. Okay, so now I've got a character set up, so I'm just going to hit play. And here we go. You 
And you see it looks uh, exactly the same as if we had retargeted all of the assets manually, which is the old way, which is uh, very obsolete now. So one more thing, I'm just going to uh, show this character again so we can see what's happening. There we go.